A lot of people and institutions are reflecting this week as we mark one year of the COVID-19 pandemic in America. The Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo had just moved to its new location when coronavirus hit last spring. Debbie Williams joins us tonight live at the zoo. And Debbie, what a year they've had there. Absolutely. You know, they on March 11th last year, they cut the ribbon on the new zoo, welcomed all those folks in. Seven days later, they had to shut the doors. But they say there have survived and there are great things on the horizon. <laughs> Spring is all about new beginnings. The kangaroos. The baby kangaroos. After 2020, this the Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo is ready. It's been quite the challenging year. A week after opening the new park, a nine week shutdown because of COVID-19. We had people come back, yes, but you know, we, we had all kinds of uh, restrictions and regulations on what we could and couldn't do or what we could and couldn't open. But the little zoo that could did it again. Until September when little Miss Sally came through and, and closed us for another 10 days. All that they hope is behind them now. It's very a very impressive zoo. So, I mean, people that are local should definitely come here, but of course, obviously our Gulf Coast visitors should as well. And if they do, they will see what resiliency looks like. To look at it positively, it enabled people to kind of reflect on priorities and what's important. And thank goodness we're finally seeing light at the end of the tunnel. New exhibits and encounters will come online in the coming weeks and months. The zoo with a new outlook one year later. It is looking up and each day keeps getting better and better and giving us more and more hope. Now in all, they were only open seven months last year, which is a unique challenge for a non nonprofit. And in the coming weeks and months, you can expect to see them start the build of a sustainable garden. They're also going to open up a new aviary and the encounters for kangaroos and sloths will also open. Live at the Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.